I cannot believe I just found this snake. This is a hognose snake. Now what's amazing is I was just speaking with my friend Mike and uh, he told me that he really wants to find a hognose snake. And uh, I was like, me too, you know, the only ones I found have been deceased. And three different ones over the past, you know, several years and all three have been deceased in different locations. This one is very much alive and it's, uh, it's a decent size. It's probably about 26 inches long. <laughs> okay, so I had to relocate a little bit just so you can hear me. I'm still right next to a busy highway with a diner and all sorts of traffic. But I want to remind you that hugno snakes have many color phases. This one here is, you know, brown with some patches of rust markings on it. But most of the eastern hognoses are gray with some white and black. This species, uh, I didn't even know what it was at first until I got closer and saw that characteristic nose. Hugno snakes have that upturned scale, which helps them to dig. And uh, it makes it really easy to identify the species. So if you're wondering why hognose snakes like to dig so much, well, one of their favorite foods happen to be toads. Toads will often bury themselves in the soil to either conserve moisture or to cool off on hot days. Hognose snakes have a built-in shovel for retrieving that meal. Speaking of eating toads, though, it's easier said than done. Toads have two built-in mechanisms for protecting themselves against predators. One, if you look behind those eyes, you see two large bumps or warts. Those are the paratoid glands and they're filled with a neurotoxic poison. That poison harms most predators, but hognose snakes are resistant to that poison. And secondly, you may have noticed toads often puff up when disturbed. That makes it hard for predators to swallow them because it, it increases their size. Well, hognose snakes definitely step up to the challenge of eating toads. For starters, they tend to be fairly resistant to the toad's defensive poisons. Hugno snakes are mildly venomous. That venom is used to secure prey items, and it's especially designed for neutralizing toads. They deliver that venom using sharp teeth at the rear of the mouth, basically making them a rear fanged snake. The venom, of course, neutralizes the toad, but those teeth actually help pierce and deflate the toads, making them much easier to swallow. Being snakes, they obviously swallow their food whole. You might notice that the neck on this snake is flaring out similar to that of a cobra with the same intentions. It wants to look big and scary and it's saying, hey, you know, you don't want to mess with me. Look how big and scary I am and I might strike. Um, this snake has already done a couple of mock strikes at me. Not a single one of them is connected. Usually hognose snakes, they will close their mouth just before the point of impact because they don't want to bite. And they're also fairly famous for rolling over and playing dead. They should call this the possum snake. But hognose is a great descriptive tag also. This snake is sticking its tongue out so much. Unfortunately, when snakes stick their tongue out so much, it's usually because they're afraid and they want to process as much information about the situation as possible. But they also do that when they're on the hunt or browsing a new environment that they haven't seen before. Unfortunately, in this case, the snake is afraid and I don't want to bother it more than I need to for this video. Obviously, hugnose snakes and many other species are often confused with rattlesnakes and needlessly murdered and persecuted. And on that note, there shouldn't be a prejudice against rattlesnakes either. I don't even care, but anyone who tells you they've been chased down and attacked by a snake has no clue what they're talking about. If you look around you and see disbalance in the world, things that are causing trouble, mosquitoes roaming everywhere you look, and you witness a lot of chaos, especially in the natural environments, if your eyes aren't open, you might not see it. Well. A lot of that's due to persecution. How about that, right? 
an eastern hognose snake next to you know a diner on a busy highway all sorts of noise and traffic hognose snake was the last thing i expected to find today i was just hoping to find some cool insects <laughs> amazing species if you see hognose snakes in new jersey they are a species of special concern which is better than being endangered but it's close to it, so do not handle the snakes. It's just better for the snake not to, and definitely don't remove it from its habitat and leave the habitat alone. That's one of the reasons why these snakes are almost endangered. Um, it is a mildly venomous snake, but it's not medically significant to human beings, meaning that it's not harmful to us. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris Ignato. I'll see you in the next video.